In the 70s, USSR has been developing the new self-propelled artillery with greater range and power to target enemy deep inside its territories. The result of that highly anticipated project is 2S7 Peony. Nothing unusual here, just a barrel that's 11 meters long. What else is there to say? The Peony was the biggest gun in the Ukrainian Armed Forces arsenal prior to the full-scale invasion. Inherited from the USSR, these cannons reflect the gigantomania of the Soviet era. With a whooping 203 caliber shell, it can destroy anything in the range of 47 km. What's the damage radius? Well, if it hits a vehicle, it's game over. Back in 2014, when Russia invaded Ukraine, we had to use everything available at the moment. That's when old and rusty peonies were repaired and formed into 43rd Artillery Brigade of Great Power. A year ago, the guys from the 43rd Brigade started intensive work they never expected. First, the defense of Kyiv. After that, they took part in the Kharkiv counteroffensive. Now they are working harder than ever, crushing enemies' offensive in the Bakhmut direction. The intensity has increased dramatically. It's been like that for about a month now. We use up a lot of shells very quickly. The enemy is trying to surround the city with partial success. They might have us outnumbered in quantity, but certainly not in quality. The guys who serve in the Peony battery are proud of the largest caliber in the army, but it also has its drawbacks. The 43-ton cannon is operated by nine people. It takes two people to fit 110 kg Kabanchik shells into the cannon. There is no doubt about their physical form whatsoever. Despite this particular howitzer being built all the way back in 1978, thanks to aerial reconnaissance and modern calculation systems, these peonies are able to bloom much faster and are more accurate than ever. How accurate are they? Well, how can I tell you? The enemy suffers losses. They can feel it. These howitzers are quite accurate, although they're two or three times older than me. Despite their power, peonies are outdated weapons. According to Soviet doctrine, artillery systems like this had to cover entire sectors with thousands of shells, leaving nothing in their wake. But the length of the front line and the current amount of resources do not allow Ukraine to operate under such rules, unlike Russia. But what helps Ukraine withstand against prevailing Russian forces is new generation of more fast and precise weapons like what you have behind me, the mighty Panzerhaubitzer 2000. Arbata! In the summer of 22, soldiers of the 43rd Brigade underwent 40 days of training in Germany. The intention was to help them switch from Soviet peonies to modern self-propelled howitzers, the Panzer Haubitzer. It's easy. After working on Soviet machinery, this is like driving a Mercedes. After Zhiguli, I got into a Mercedes. Oleksiy is a howitzer commander. As an artillery enthusiast, it was a dream of his to simply just see the Panzer Haubitzer somewhere in the museum. But he certainly never imagined that he'd be working with one a whole year into the full-scale invasion. The first time I fired it in Germany at the training field, it was like sex. I was like, man, I fired a PZ-2000. I couldn't have dreamed of that. For me, it was something unbelievable. Panzerhaubitz is superior over its counterparts in many ways. With heavy modern armor and isolated ammunition storage, it provides safety and confidence to its operators. Alexei says that they can spend days in the armored vehicle in combat positions. This howitzer can perform any artillery test that exists today. Its automated systems of ammo feeding and GPS targeting allows it to work at least 10 times faster compared to the Peony. Because of that, here in the Bakhmut direction, the Panzerhaubitzer mainly works with counter-artillery fire. Three shells are fired in 10 seconds. At the moment they all hit the target, I'm already gone. 
Despite its many advantages, the highly complicated systems of Panzerhaubitze do need a lot of maintenance. They were never tested in such rough conditions, shooting from 60 to 100 rounds a day. Still, such weapons prove to be a great advantage over Russia's Soviet tactics. They are being put to good use by the 43rd Artillery Brigade of Great Power, which continues to liberate Ukrainian land, meter by meter. We will occupy fronts stretching hundreds of thousands of kilometers, with armies of millions. This is the concept that the Russians still have. They want to flatten everything inside with huge hordes. On the other hand, we are accurately destroying their artillery and manpower.